Good day, my friends. Welcome to another stream of Typhoonum about Earth Online. So, hope you will be enjoying my stream today. So, <clears throat> main thing I will be trying to discuss today, it is actually the uh, tree of knowledge, of uh, uh, tree of skills, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is the new uh, patch that will be coming today most likely so i was willing to record another video for you to make some more memories about the world uh, before the release of the uh, tree of skills so basically if we are uh, clicking on our avatar on the top right corner you would be able to see your nickname and here uh, it, this window for some reason is not translated to English um, we are told that uh, we would be able on this window to explore our skills and uh, it will be in the nearest release also um, it says that the skills they are giving um, the effect uh, like when you uh, when you build uh, your digger um, and uh, kind of when you start to explore the world and improve your skills that the skills will be affecting all of your diggers so um, basically what I wanted to say I still continue to enjoy in this patch uh, the patch before the new release in March that we are still waiting for even though it was promised for yesterday so um, Basically, uh, yesterday um, we had another uh, stream from Miachin and he was talking about uh, some improvements in a new patch. Basically, he was telling us that we would be able to see the first um, basic tree of knowledge, how he is calling it or uh, a tree of skills and what we'll be able to do it is actually to explore it for the first time and to um, kind of try uh, gaining the experience using this new skills so he is also saying that uh, he is not giving any promises about keeping uh, our skills progress for now so if you are not sure you are willing to try uh, something that will be only accessible uh, for a short amount of time or uh, if you fear that your progress will be um, kind of lost then you should better just wait for uh, this project to improve and to um, kind of get to the new stage but I recommend playing even now because you can make some special memories about the game that you would not be able to uh, have otherwise uh, but that is my opinion I'm also willing to hear your uh, opinion on the subject if uh, you wouldn't mind also I would love to hear what you uh, think of this March patch um, the next thing that uh, the developer of the game was also discussing is actually that uh, the new programmer will be released probably so what does it mean it's actually when you click on the plus sign and uh, click on programs um, and you click on the plus sign again you're able to get to the uh, list of your own programs that you can execute and um, in this way you would most likely be able to uh, fulfill your purpose uh, if you have created the right program you would be able for example dig um, a specific amount of uh, uh, the map out so basically um, 
this programmer and how it works and how it will be working for you um, will be changed so that's what we expect from the um, upcoming release that will be released either today or tomorrow I expect it tomorrow but we will see what the developers say uh, because again uh, they are always promising a patch and then they need some one or two days to finish it up and that is a u usual thing for now and I'm just um, trying to make some memories before the new release also I'm right now living at the base as you see that has a lot of metallium um, that's probably and aurum that's probably the most precious resources in the mine and that probably will stay this way um, though um, from what I w have seen by watching the streams from the developer he was saying that um, or even not saying he was just uh, showing some pictures that um, kind of give us a hint of what will happen in the next patch um, and I would say that one of the things that we probably uh, should be able to enjoy it is um, a new met metal will be added I am not sure if that is uh, gonna happen but that what I have got to know about uh, from from the videos that were released by developer I was watching them closely and I have found that probably another met metal uh, except uh, metallium and aurum will be added to the game let let us see maybe I'm wrong and maybe that was just the idea so we'll see how it works so um, I have got charged one of my diggers so I'm finally gonna play for a bit just enjoy the game um, while I can also uh, if we are fully uh, willing to discuss the last stream from the developer he was also asking to share with him your uh, comments uh, and thoughts on how much time do you spend on Earth Online because um, he is using this data uh, for the calculations so if uh, you're willing to share with him this um, data then probably you he would be grateful so but that is up to you that is up to you so um, one of our diggers is, is fully charged and probably I should drop off the metals to my storage I am willing to create another double hole before I will set myself a goal to create the heavy hole if the tree of uh, um, craft will change then I will have new goals but for now that's my purpose so let me get some more nanobots probably yeah probably that would be enough for now I, I'm taking small amounts because I understand that um, I don't need much of this resource over here so let's place one of the diggers to to this spot probably he my digger will get stuck either here or yes I, I, I think probably my digger will, will get stuck over here but that's alright I'm fine with this so next thing probably if um, we are willing to talk about uh, the patch uh, that was released last last year 
or uh, on the beginning of the this year i would i would say that it has already improved the game um the game is developing and it is more enjoyable to play with uh, with each day and uh, the developers they are doing things maybe slower than we want them to but we still are able to enjoy the game already as it uh, develops and uh, we are able to see the new features and um, actually get ahead of the other players because of uh, the amount of knowledge that we gather so i i suggest to you playing the game while uh, while you can at least um, spend five minutes a day on it because this way you you will be able to make some memories in the uh, not very timely um, worlds that the game provides you with and yeah i would say that that is pretty much what i think you you should do because mm, it is it is a good idea to make make more memories before before new patches so let me see if uh, a comfortable depth depth for me would be enough i would say so I would say so, and both of my diggers are close um, on on health, so it's good enough. So probably the second digger, I will use him somewhere, somewhere over here. I guess that it is a good idea. Yeah, probably that that would be a good place. So here we are. Both of my diggers are placed on programs. And I have discussed the last video from the developer. Um, also, as we know, in the, if we will be discussing more the... Um, patch that we are now living in before the new release um, the main points that I see are the improvements of this patch it is uh, the easiness of working with the go was added we have been uh, having actually new rocks added to the game um, this specific one could turn into uh, if it contacts with lava it uh, it could turn into ad adminium or at least in ad undiggable sectorosium if i remember correctly so anyway i'm just uh, glad that i have heard rumors at least of uh, some resources transferred to the next patch so We'll see, even if we we'll, uh, face a completely new um, tree of uh, knowledge, um, I, I am hoping to keep at least uh, some of my resources that I have used, for example, for creating um, cryo compressors or uh, some other stuff that I enjoy having around so i hope to hear also your opinion on this patch before the new release what do you think of it how do you like it and what do you expect from uh, the closest release so that's pretty much uh, it for today also i was willing to m mention that um this base that i currently live at is uh, a base that was created most likely by blooper 
and um, his clan mates. So I am willing to give him a credit because I am using his location right now. Um, and I am I'm glad that he has found this place f first um, because like usually uh, if we are uh, living in the world of Earth, we don't have that much metallium. And he has found sp a specific place where uh, the volcanoes, they spawn a lot of metallium, and he is ga gathering this metallium constantly. So I would say that Blooper will probably get ahead of any other players in the next world, if they are not playing right now. But that is my opinion. Also, I probably would love hearing in comments um, what do you think of the strong players in the game? Um, in a nowadays state, let me see the leaderboard. As I see, uh, we have some players that uh, have a lot of money in the world but there is also another uh, top that we cannot see for some reason i would love to see this top because it would actually show a real picture of uh, a, of power in the next world it is actually would be a leaderboard of uh, those who are holding the metallium because i think it even more closely will be affecting the their um, kind of um, power in the common world. That's what I think. So, also, if we are talking about this patch, I really enjoyed it, and I am waiting for the new changes. I like uh, how how it looks and i like new gener new gen generation uh, that comes from goo uh, it looks nice also i i think that we are talking more about the uh, crystals probably i would say that um, some of them are too tough but um, maybe it was meant like that. Yeah, I I don't know, because uh, we also would need would be uh, needing to craft some uh, resources uh, for uh, for receiving additional um, kind of power in the coming world. So probably uh, that that all is done in the right way so um let us uh, return to some more new features uh that were given to us in the patch for example when we um go to camera distance to switch to map mode and we scroll it out we are able to watch our map like this also mm, if we get the focus on the geroid to 50 he is able to go on the a short way out and if we are scrolling this bar towards this side he is able to go somewhere for ages. So that's another thing that was added in the latest patch that we already enjoy. So I would say that in the latest patch nothing has changed about clan system. About uh, chat translate that was earlier feature. Um, and also in the latest patch we have had day and night mods added and um, actually I think in the same patch the depth was 
uh, improved to 2k instead of 1k depth for uh, for safe during night and day and I'm glad to developers for that because right now um, not a lot of people they own a knowledge and even are willing to fight against someone while they are digging so we'll see what comes in the new world world and what's awaiting us that is what it is so we have two diggers that are doing their job probably right now i may be thinking of uh, taking one of my diggers and check in my inventory so as I already told you I am planning to create another double hole and I need probably around uh, 60 metallium for that sorry 60 hour room for that yes our room is uh, actually the resource <laughs> or a breed as it is shown here for showing off yeah so that is what it is um, I would say that if I compare myself to another diggers, I probably have too little of purple crystals. Um, that's that's what I think. Uh, I was gathering resources for some while, and as you know, uh, blue crystals they were very needed for Creo build in this world. So probably I was spending too um, small amount of times for gathering green, blue and white crystals because as you know they are needed for creating roads but if we are willing to create the most expensive kind of road basically um, you would need any any crystals almost all of them used when you create the um, autobahn but for now, Autobahn by most of the players is considered too expensive, too expensive. So also those of you who are participating in PvP modes, I would love to hear your opinion on the um, plasma shield and protecting yourself from other players if they are um, like coming against you in PvP zone. So what do you recommend and uh, what would you recommend to use? Um, that is what I am willing to ask of you. So please uh, um, make comments and like this video if uh, you are enjoying what am I doing. And I will be glad to see you again on my streams. That was Typhoon with you, thank you for uh, being with me and I hope that we'll meet you again in the new world. <laughs>